Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 1 to the power of x squared divided by 8 to the power of x is equal to 61. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to deal with this 1 to the power of x squared. Well, if you guys remember, 1 to the power of any number is equal to 1 meaning that 1 to the power of x squared is simply just equal to 1. So this would be 1 over a to the power of x is equal to 61. Now, if I multiply both sides by a to the power of x, I get 1 is equal to 61 times a to the power of x. Now, if I divide both sides by 61, I get 1 over 61 is equal to, these two cancel out, a to the power of x. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log of both sides. So now we have log of 1 over 61 is equal to a to the power of x. So now, if I take the log both sides, and this, the, the power property of logarithms states that if we have something in the form log to the power of a to the power of x, we can actually move this exponent to the front of the log. So this is going to be equal to log 1 over 61 is equal to x times log 8. So now I'm going to divide both sides by log to the power of 8. Now, log 8, well, this is the same thing as log 2 to the power of 3. So, 2 to the power of 3. And remember, we can actually move this exponent to the front of the log. Remember, the power property of logarithms. So, now we have log 1 over 61 divided by 3 log 2. And if we're taking the log of a fraction, then this is the fraction can actually be the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So this is equal to log 1 minus log 61 over 3 log 2. Now, log 1, this is equal to approximately 0. Log 1 is equal to 0. Log 61 
this is equal to 1.7853. And 3 log 2, this is equal to 0 0.9. Zero, three, one. So now if we plug in these values, we get 0 minus 1.7, 1 1.7853, which is just negative 1.7853 divided by 0 0.9031. And this is equal to approximately negative 1.9769. So this is our answer. Yeah.